My name is Frangiskos and I'm the creator of uh, Evmelia Agrotourism uh, Farm in southern Greece. In the beginning was the idea that it would be an organic farm, that we would bring people to nature from city centers, that we would respect nature. It's a deeper understanding of the beauty of nature, of how things communicate, how we are part of the ecosystem as human beings and we should not always try to push the ecosystem but try to learn our role within it and understand that we are we are one unit in many units. My name is uh, Marlena Karadima and uh, I'm part of Evmelia's project. Farm is part of my life. This farm stands for sustainability and that's why it's difficult for us to say olives, olive oil, wine, hotel, restaurant. It's all of them together. The difference in, in viewing nature before and viewing nature now is the, the direct contact with seeing my food come from nature. Now every day we are picking vegetables from the garden, we're preparing our olives, we're making our olive oil, we're making our wine. You see what a gift that is, you know, that nature feeds us and nature doesn't ask for many things in return, it just asks for respect. I've never thought of living in a farm and being also a farmer. The transition from Athens city to the farm, I felt like I was having a second master. <laughs> I had to read a lot, I had to do a lot of research. I cannot forget the first time picking all this because it has been very painful, so <laughs> it's not easy to forget. And we're like 20 days picking olives straight. You feel the pain, you do the job, but then you get the olives. And that's very rewarding. The amazing is when you actually um, see the olive oil coming out in the mill start seeing, going through the process and see the, all of a sudden the golden liquid start coming out and you taste it, that, that is, uh, you, you get teary, you know, you get like tears in your eyes. Yeah. So guests come, the idea that they came would be to taste things, to taste the olive oil, to have a cooking class, to have a wine tasting. But then we take a walk with them and we talk about other things, about life and philosophy and coexistence with nature. I might have a better connection and a better understanding with somebody who lives in the US or Germany or France because we have similar values than, than actually my neighbor. So our community is, is larger. I have a friend, he came here as a guest, he helped us pick olives and now he's creating you know, the Yale Institute of, of Olive Oil. He was inspired by this experience to create an institute, you know. How many people get to do that, you know? Our purpose is to intervene to nature as less as possible. And that's why we have to respect the ecosystem and not to spray and not to till the earth and not to cut the weeds, because all of them has a role to play in a closed ecosystem. It's respecting nature and the animals that we have in the farm. So somehow they have to be happy, it's like having the, the geese free, having a lot of space for the ducks and the chicken, a lot of space for the pigs. I, don't, I can't tell you precisely if I had a dream to create a farm when I was, babe, when I was young, no, I don't think so. But I kind of knew that there was land and we came to one, one morning, I felt a very intense vibration and felt like I needed to drop everything and start creating something here. Maybe it was the realization that I could put an anchor somewhere. One of the feelings that I, I get is when, when you do the things that you love, you start to get help from everywhere. You're getting help from other human beings. Nature helps you. One of the most interesting stories was at some point we were doing a crowdfunding campaign for the farm. We wanted to build an outside natural pond. I sent an email out to former guests and friends and asking them you know, to support the crowdfunding campaign. And I received a reply from one of the people and they said underneath that after their experience at the farm, they decided to change direction in their life and quit their jobs in Athens and they're working for the UN in Africa, um, helping others and, and kids and things like that. And that's what, I think that was the first time that it hit me. 
I, I was always concentrated on doing the project and creating it and never thought what the, you know, what the, exp what the aftermath would be or what, you know, what could go on from here. For every guest that is living the farm, I would like them to, uh, to build more conscious about their food, but in a broader aspect, where it comes from, who produces that, the land actually that produces the food, how to eat more healthily and how to manage the, the food waste. Of course, being a little bit more respectful towards the farmers that they have all these risks and challenges with the weather, with uh, uh, the illnesses, uh, they have to manage with soil, with uh, bugs, with everything. Um, I can keep listening of this excuse that if all the world, all the farms turn organic, there will be not enough food to feed the people. And on the other side, you have 65% of food wasted and then adapt to landfills. We need to spray more and more in order to produce more and more, in order to waste more and more. And we all end up to the healthcare system to solve diabetes problems and cholesterol and all those things. I mean, why don't we just stop it?